Litany of Gratitude After the COVID Pandemic Let us approach the Lord who makes all things new for all the blessings and graces we received during the COVID pandemic. After every petition, let us say together, Thanks be to God. Thanks be to God. For reminding us of the fragility of life, shielding us when no one else dared to shelter us, and opening our minds to what is really essential, let us thank the Lord. Thanks be to God. For allowing us to connect with one another with faith and love, despite the isolation that sickness had imposed on us, let us thank the Lord. Thanks be to God. For the heroic kindness of those who provided us with scientific, social, and spiritual help when doing so was both risky and life-threatening for them, let us thank the Lord. Thanks be to God. For the gift of newly discovered medicines and vaccines to combat the virus and the wonder of natural immunity, let us thank the Lord. Thanks be to God. For the gift of assuring presence when we were anxious and distressed, depressed and lonely and impatient during the pandemic, let us thank the Lord. Thanks be to God. Let us pray. Loving God, no thought of ours is unknown to you. No tear we shed is unimportant to you. No joy we celebrate is alien to you. You entered our world of sickness, suffering, and death, and you know the fears we face. Accept our thanksgiving for your provident love during the COVID pandemic. As you wept at the death of Lazarus, breathe the breath of life everlasting on all those who died from the coronavirus. You have turned our fears into joy, and for this we thank and praise you. To you be glory, now and forever. Mary, help of Christians, pray for us. Saint Michael the Archangel, pray for us. San Roque, pray for us. Good afternoon, brothers and sisters. Please all stand as we begin our Eucharistic celebration. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. My dear brothers and sisters, our readings today remind us that God's coming is always a time of salvation. Let us open our hearts and our minds so that we could receive the salvation coming from our Lord Jesus. To prepare ourselves to celebrate this Holy Mass, let us first acknowledge our sins and humbly ask the Lord for His pardon and strength. Thank you. 
Have mercy on us, O Lord. For we have sinned against you. Show us, O Lord, your mercy. And grant us your salvation. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. O God, who reward the merits of the just, and offer pardon to sinners who do penance. Have mercy, we pray, on those who call upon you, that the admission of our guilt may serve to obtain your pardon for our sins. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. Thus says the Lord, In a time of favor I answer you. On the day of salvation, I help you, and I have kept you and given you as a covenant to the people to restore the land and allot the desolate heritages, saying to the prisoners, Come out. To those in darkness, show yourselves. Along the ways, they shall find pasture. On every bare height shall their pastures be. They shall not hunger or thirst, nor shall the scorching wind or the sun strike them. For he who pities them leads them and guides them beside springs of water. I will cut a road through all my mountains and make my highways level. See, some shall come from afar, others from the north and the west, and some from the land of Zion. Sing out, O heavens, and rejoice, O earth. Break forth into song, you mountains, for the Lord comforts his people and shows mercy to his afflicted. But Zion said, The Lord has forsaken me. My Lord has forgotten me. Can a mother forget her infant? Be without tenderness for the child of her womb. Even should she forget, I will never forget you. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Lord is gracious and merciful. The Lord is gracious and merciful. The Lord is gracious and merciful. Slow to anger and of great kindness. The Lord is good to all and compassionate toward all his works. The Lord is gracious and merciful. The Lord is faithful in all his words and holy in all his works. The Lord lifts up all who are falling and raises up all who are bowed down. The Lord is gracious and merciful. The Lord is just in all his ways and holy in all his works. The Lord is near all to all who call upon him, to all who call upon him in trust. The Lord is gracious and merciful. Please all stand. Praise to you. Yeah. 
Savior of the world. Jesus, the light is calling us. We open the eyes of our soul. Praise to you, Lord Jesus, King of endless glory. Savior of the world, Savior of the world. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus answered the Jews, my father is at work until now, so I am at work. For this reason, they tried all the more to kill him because he not only broke the Sabbath, but he also called God his own father, making himself equal to God. Jesus answered and said to them, Amen, amen, I say to you, the Son cannot do anything on His own, but only what He sees the Father doing. For what He does, the Son will do also. For the Father loves the Son and shows Him everything that He Himself does, and He will show Him greater works than these, so that you may be amazed. For just as the Father raises the dead and gives life, so also does the Son give life to whomever He wishes. Nor does the Father judge anyone, but He has given all judgment to the Son, so that all may honor the Son just as they honor the Father. Whoever does not honor the Son does not honor the Father who sent Him. Amen, amen, I say to you, Whoever hears my word and believes in the one who sent me has eternal life and will not come to condemnation but has passed from death to life. Amen, amen, I say to you, the hour is coming and is now here when the dead will hear the voice of the Son of God and those who hear will live. But for just as the Father has life in Himself, so also He gave to the Son the possession of life in Himself. And He gave Him power to exercise judgment because He is the Son of Man. Do not be amazed at this, because the hour is coming in which all who are in the tombs will hear His voice and will come out. Those who have done good deeds to the resurrection of life, but those who have done wicked deeds to the resurrection of condemnation. I cannot do anything on my own. I judge as I hear, and my judgment is just, because I do not seek my own will, but the will of the one who sent me. Brothers and sisters, the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. My dear brothers and sisters, the two readings today speak of the coming of God. And in both our readings today, both readings tell us that the coming of God is always a time of salvation. Dumarating ang Panginoon para iligtas tayo. In our first reading today, from the book of the prophet Isaiah. This was the promise of God given to Isaiah to tell the people that 
on the day of salvation, on that time of favor, I will come to help you. I will come to save you. But let us remember also that whenever God comes to save us, it may not be the most comfortable time for us. Just like the people of Israel, as God tells them, from different lands, you will go home to Israel. From the exile, you will travel again and come home to the promised land. Was it a comfortable journey for them? Not everyone. In fact, not everyone came home to Israel because some of them felt already comfortable in their place of exile. Masarap na ang buhay namin dito. Bakit ba pahihirapan pa namin ang sarili namin? So, many of them did not come and did not recognize the time of salvation because for them, it was uncomfortable. That is why towards the end of the reading, the first reading, God assures them, do not think that I have forsaken you. Should a mother forget her son, I will not forget you. The time of salvation may be uncomfortable, but God tells us whenever he comes, it is always a time of salvation. Kapag dumarating ang Panginoon, laging inililigtas tayo. Hindi man komportable, pero inililigtas niya tayo. I remember one priest friend who told me this story. He said, meron daw siyang kaibigan na nagpadasal sa kanya. Sabi ng kanyang kaibigan, Father, my boyfriend and I have been together for seven years and he has not proposed yet. Eh, gustong-gusto ko nang ikasal. So please, Father, pray for us that my boyfriend would propose to me already. So the priest said, Okay, I promise to pray for you. After a few months, they saw each other again. Ang bungad nung pare, O ano, pinagdasal ko kayo. Nag-propose na ba ang boyfriend mo? Sabi niya, Father, hiwalay na po kami, no? Sabi, hindi ho effective ang dasal ninyo, no? E sabi ng pare, e bakit kayo naghiwalay? No? Father, I discovered he has a third party. Naku, ang sakit, no? Sabi ng pare sa kanya, effective pa rin ang prayer ko. God saved you from that man, Sabi ko, nakalusot ka lang sa sagot mo, no? <laughs> Pero, I think that was, you know, a reality that we need to face. God comes sometimes to remove something from us in order to save us. It may not be comfortable, it may even be painful, but remember, God always comes to save us. And whenever God comes, it is always a time of salvation. That is why in our gospel reading today, Jesus also reminds his disciples about this reality that the Son was sent in order to save the world. Jesus said to his disciples, The hour has come and is now here when Jesus has come to this world to save the world. 
And some people among the Jews and the people at that time did not believe him. They said, Why do we need to leave our former lives? Instead, we would just want to kill and remove Jesus from our lives. They did not see the time of salvation that has come. My dear brothers and sisters, God may remove something from you, and it may be painful. It may be uncomfortable. But remember, many times, God removes something from us in order to save us. Baka dasal-dasal tayo sa Panginoon. Dasal tayo ng dasal. Panginoon, iligtas mo ako. Panginoon, tulungan mo ako. Kapag tinanggal na sa'yo yung bagay na nakakasakit sa'yo, ay... Lord, wag naman yan. No? Yan kasi ang aking comfort zone. Yan ang aking pangarap. E baka yan naman talaga ang sumisira sa'yo. Baka kailangan tanggalin ng Panginoon yan sa buhay mo para iligtas ka niya. Trust in the Lord. It may be painful. It may be uncomfortable. But let us trust God that whenever He comes in our lives, it is always a time of salvation. That is how Jesus trusted the Father. You notice in our gospel reading today, paulit-ulit na sinabi ang relationship ng Father and the Son. Whatever the Father does, the Son also will do. Whatever the Son hears from the Father, the Son will listen. And the Son will always do what the Father wills Him to do. And it was painful for Jesus. He was betrayed by His friends. He was punished by His fellow men. He was crucified on the cross and betrayed by His own friends. And Jesus perhaps would say in the agony in the garden, Lord, is this really a time of salvation? That I suffer this pain, I suffer this sorrow, I suffer this death on the cross. But the Son trusted the Father, even if it was painful, I know, Father, that this is the time of salvation. That is the trust, complete trust of Jesus with the Father. My dear brothers and sisters, the time of salvation will come in our lives. It may be painful. It may be uncomfortable when God removes something from us. But remember, God removes something from us or even someone from us in order to save us. God's coming is always a time of salvation. Amen. Please stand. As we bring our petitions before the altar of God, let us ask for the strength and faith to abide by His will. For every petition, let us say, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer, that the Church may guide her members in the path of goodness and bring them to God's love. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. That we may turn away from sin with all our hearts and be obedient to God's laws. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. That all those who are undergoing trial and persecution on account of their faith 
may persevere and trust in God. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That we may follow the example given to us by Jesus and conform to the will of God. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That the dead may finally receive God's promise of eternal life. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Heavenly Father, help us to align ourselves with your will so that we may live in the manner you desire. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated. Please stand. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hand for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. May the power of this sacrifice, O Lord, we pray, mercifully wipe away what is old in us and increase in us grace of salvation and newness of life. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For you have given your children a sacred time for the renewing and purifying of their hearts, that, freed from disordered affections, they may so deal with the things of this passing world as to hold rather to the things that eternally endure. And so with all the angels and saints, we praise you as without end we acclaim. Holy, 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 holy Lord, Lord God, God of hosts, hosts heaven, heaven and, and earth are full, full of, of your, your glory. glory. Hosanna in the, in the highest. highest. Blessed, Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the, the highest. Please kneel. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, 
so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Please stand. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Jose, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through Him and with Him and in Him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our, Our Father, who, who art, art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. name. Thy, thy kingdom, kingdom come, thy, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress. 
as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us now offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Please kneel. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord, I am, I am not, not worthy that, that you should enter under, under my, my roof, but only say the word, word and, and my soul, soul shall, shall be healed. healed. Brothers and sisters, the body of Christ. Amen.
Please stand. Let us pray. May your heavenly gifts, O Lord, we pray, which you bestow as a heavenly remedy on your people, not bring judgment to those who receive them. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated for a few announcements. Again, we welcome all uh, the pilgrims who are coming here to the Manila Cathedral. You can venerate the relic of the wood of the true cross of our Lord, which is enshrined at the Jubilee Cross inside the Manila Cathedral. And you can also visit anytime the Adoration Chapel of the Manila Cathedral, which we have already opened after being closed for three years. Here you can offer your prayers uh, in silence in front of the Blessed Sacrament. We also uh, would like again to invite all of you to our Lenten uh, recollection, which we are holding in partnership with uh, Mary, Mother of Hope, Landmark Chapel. So just to uh, tell you a story about this, I was invited by Father Reggie to give the Lenten recollection in Landmark Chapel. So I told him, uh, why not the two of us give a reflection on Lent? Because I am sure not only myself, but people would come to listen to you also. So I told him that the two of us could give this Lenten recollection. Uh, sabi nung isang kaibigan kong pare, bakit parang kayong dalawa ang hindi makamove on? No? Magkasama pa rin kayo dyan. No? Kaya nga, yan ang aming topic. No? Not only moving on, but also moving forth. So you will listen to that topic and to many stories uh, on our Lenten recollection, which will be on uh, Holy Tuesday, April 4 at uh, 6.30 p.m. And this will be held in Landmark Makati Chapel. For those who may not be able to attend physically, this Lenten recollection will be broadcast online on our uh, social media pages. This evening, our Healing Rosary for the World will be uh, hosted by the San Nicolas de Tolentino Cathedral in Cabanatuan, uh, Nueva Ecija. We thank uh, their parish priest and rector, Father Noy Oliveros, for hosting this evening's Healing Rosary at 9 p.m. Let us now all stand and receive the final blessing. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Bow your heads and pray for God's blessing. May your servants be shielded, O Lord, by the protection of your loving kindness, that doing what is good in this world, they may reach you their highest good. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. And may Almighty God bless all of you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth, the Mass is ended. Thanks be to God.
Thank you.